Welcome to another edition of Cooking with Luke and Friends. <laughs> Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome again. This is Mr. Luke Brooks. This is the health edition of Cooking with Luke and Friends. Now, this is different because I'm not in the kitchen. I'm actually in a hotel room. Uh, I'm just relaxing, just uh, taking care of some things, just making sure everything is good to go before I uh, take off the day. Now, I am in Japan, and you're going to see some content of Japan's food. But I wanted to talk to you about health concerns of, <coughs> you know, high blood pressure. Now, if you don't know it, I have family history where high blood pressure runs in my family. And with high blood pressure, you're dealing with multiple issues, you know. You know, shortness of breath, you know, dealing with your heart. Then with a lot of things, but the, the worst thing to me it's the medications. I've seen some of the medications that people have been taking and those things that they do take, it may relieve the symptoms, but they don't get rid of the symptoms. So I I will tell you my story. I'm not going to tell anyone else's story, but my story. I was diagnosed with hypertension, borderline, you know, high blood pressure. And it was one simple thing that I did that actually took care of this within a matter of months. And to this day, my blood pressure is, is normal. It was beets. Yes, beets. Whether you did powder beets, if you eat the beets, or you just juice the beets. I prefer juicing. You know, I love to juice, as you know. And you're seeing some of the content with the beet juice with the results of the beast to drink it on a regular basis you know at least three times a week uh, it was some side effects i won't lie you know when i used the restroom my urine did look red but it was this the stuff that's being processed through your body the first thing that i noticed is that i had more energy i mean energy that was beyond belief you know how some people gotta have coffee to get themselves to start it and they gotta keep drinking coffee with the beets, no need for coffee. It was no need to do any type of drinking of coffee or taking any type of stimulant. Uh, along with that was that when I took the beet juice, and I mixed it, I, it wasn't straight beets. I put carrots in there, I put apple in there, I put celery in there, I put a little of um, apple cider, vin apple cider vinegar, I put that in there, and you know, put a little bit of, you know, some uh, coconut water and I mean all the all that in combination with a little bit of ginger too just took care of a lot of things with you know having more energy you know you know being able to breathe a little bit better because I do have a little history of bronchitis too and you know that really really changed everything working out was one thing too it felt like it was a pre-workout but without the jitters I can go in there do a set, stop what I'm doing, come back, and just go back at it on another set. Well, hold on, I gotta catch my breath, I gotta get more energy. You know, that was one of the other benefits. <coughs> when I went back to the doctor, I went back to the doctor, and the doctor told me, hey, we need to check your blood pressure again. They were kind of scared. They were like, what are you doing to make your blood pressure drop that low? A few, a couple of months ago, your blood pressure was like, hey, you got to start taking medicine. Now, it's looking like you're a different person. And it stayed like that. Even when I'm, I'm off the beast, it stayed like that. But I, I recommend you, whenever you get a chance to jump on beats. Now, for some of you who don't know me, been doing this cooking show for quite some time. And I wanted to just talk to you about the benefits of beets and how it helped reduce my blood pressure. If you go down to the uh, the link below, the link below actually has everything that you need to know about joining my free cooking group and actually checking out our articles in regards to 
things such as high blood pressure and other things in particular concerning health. I think it's very important that your health is placed as number one in your life when it comes to everyday functioning because you only have one body and you have to take care of it properly, okay? So again, my name is Luke Brooks. I want to thank you for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Take care.